Yeah, hey, what's going on, y'all? It's a little dark, so you just gonna have to bear with me. I got some shit that I want to talk about, or whatever. Some things that really bother the piss out of me. Now, me and Jesse, it ain't no secret we a fucking mixed up. All right, but uh, I catch this shit from all ends, and I, I've kind of had it after the night. Now, I'm with Jesse, and that's what it is right now. And that's what it's going to be. Um, has nothing to do with me and her particularly. However, we just got pulled over, man. And uh, why is it that the cops see... Where do I even fucking begin? So, we get pulled over for a broken taillight. They want to try to... I do. I'm so fucking aggravated, I don't really know what the fuck to say. And and I'm I'm not gonna sugarcoat this shit. I'm just gonna tell it like it is. Um, you cannot be white and black in the same goddamn car in Greenbelt, Maryland. You can't. You can't. And it's the same shit I was telling her for the past few few days here. I don't drive down there. I don't go down there because the cops down there are bad as fuck. Because Greenbelt, Maryland is, is, was a sundown town years ago, and for whatever reason, the police department still operates like that. So I don't drive down there, because every time I go down there, I get locked up for something ridiculous. Now, I understand that she didn't believe me, because she's from somewhere that maybe they don't do that, or maybe, you know, I don't know what the fuck. But we was coming through there, and sure enough, cops sped up. I mean, this motherfucker was flying. He was getting it so he could pull us over. Now, I started laughing at this point because I'm not the one driving. The car's in my name, but I'm not the one driving. So he come up and say, oh, the reason I pulled you over was because the tags didn't go to the car. He ain't had a damn chance to run the goddamn tags in the first place. There was no opportunity to run the tag in the first place. He just rolled up and pulled us over because he saw us pass by. That would have been one thing if he would have said, oh, I pulled you over because the taillight was busted. That would make sense. But no, he pulled us over because the tags ain't go to the damn car. The c tags go to the car. We went to the damn DMV and got the fucking things the other day. Then the female cop shows up. She seemed to be all right in the, in the beginning. I'm not moving my arms because I know here they shoot people. So I don't move my arms. I don't do nothing. When they ask me for my ID, it's in Jesse's wallet. I tell Jesse to give it to him. When they ask me for the red, or asked her for the registration for the car, the registration's in the glove compartment. I told her, get the registration. I'm not getting it. I'm not moving my arms. I'm keeping my arms where they can see them. Fuck the bullshit. I've been shot. It is no fun. And so they get mad because I'm not playing with my life, I guess. So they ask her to step out the car and then they ask her, is there any drugs or anything illegal in the car? Go ahead, you can open the door. And there is nothing in the car. There's nothing in here. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. I don't keep shit in this motherfucker that can get me locked up anymore or anything. I haven't done nothing illegal and I don't know when, and I ain't about to now. So they pull her out the car, then they pull me out the car, then they start searching the car, looking for things that don't exist. They find needles in the car. I have needles in the car because I'm fucking diabetic. I'm diabetic and I have needles in my car. The fuck is wrong with that? So then they try to accuse us of having opioids or something. What the fuck was it? Was it opioids or something? Some stupid shit. I ain't got... Because you put it in a pretty... Thing. Yeah, because the damn... The needle... <laughs> the, I had a needle. See, they tell you don't just throw needles away. So I didn't. I took it apart, just like they tell you to do, and I had it 
put somewhere where it wouldn't bother nobody in a pretty little purse bag thing with some damn roses on it or some shit and and, and nail, clippers. A, nail clippers in it <laughs> and they find it in there and all of a sudden now it's all suspicious well who's doing needles who's got the needles in the car and I said I got them I'm diabetic the medicine's in the center of the car now they want to act all suspect like I got some goddamn kind of drug in the goddamn car that I shouldn't have and then they're going to ask me oh well We've never seen these pills before. What kind of pills are these? I have high blood pressure. I take fucking quantidine and some other shit. And these motherfuckers is gonna fucking sit there and act like I'm some sort of fucking criminal? Fuck them. Fuck them. Goddamn, fuck them. I, damn cameras acting up. I'll fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I'm still gonna talk. So y'all just gonna have to bear with me. Oh, well, fuck it. So, anyway, camera on my phone is gone to shit, probably because it's all fucked up, and I just got this phone, and so then they're going to ask me, or then they're going to try to, well, basically, I'm telling them there's nothing in the car. So, the bitch cop wants to go and get mad and start overcompensating for the things that she ain't got between her legs. And so then she wanted to get all stupid on me, so I started getting stupid back. Fuck it. At this point, if they're going to lock me up, they're going to lock me up, and that's what they're aiming to do, so I'm going to give them what they want. Fuck it. So the other cop steps in, and I said, well, do you have a higher up, a higher cop than you? He says, I am the higher cop. I said, oh, who are you now? Oh, you okay. So... He threatens to lock me up. And I said, and I asked him, I said, well, what you gonna lock me up for, a broken tail light? Cause there ain't nothing else you can gonna get me for. There ain't no drugs in the car. There ain't nothing I'm doing wrong. I'm sitting there on the goddamn ground and fucking answering the goddamn questions as best as I can. I'm not being smart, I'm not being an asshole, I'm just being me. And that's not good enough. I'm being a certain way according to them, which is bullshit. What they saw is a white girl that's 10 years younger than me in a goddamn car, an Oldsmobile of all cars, with a spare tire and a broken taillight on it, is what they saw. And so they decided it was necessary to fuck with us based on that. But they're not going to admit that. They're going to say that the tags don't go to the car. We have drugs in the car. Everything else they can figure out or try to figure out because they're bullshit artists. And shit, but when you don't go for it and you know there's no drugs in your car and there's no, your tags are legit, then they get mad about it. And so now they got to figure out a reason to lock you up because, number one, you're black with a white girl. Number two... You're driving this car with a broken taillight, and God knows that's a serious offense. God damn it, that's a motherfucking felony. So, that all happened. On the way back to the camper from working, trying to get shit done, <laughs> that all happened. And then, at the very end, when they didn't find nothing in the car, when they couldn't find the drugs in the car that they were looking for, when the quantidine and the fucking other blood pressure medicine came back to be what the fuck it is, when all of that shit happened, all of that, after all of that, all the searching the goddamn car and all of the other dumb shit, after all of that, oh, we're going to let you off with a verbal warning about the taillight. And the only reason they let you off with a verbal warning about the taillight is because if you go to court on a ticket where the taillight is out and you tell what the fuck happened, then it's going to be a fucking problem and somebody's going to get their ass in goddamn trouble. I'm fucking tired of this. I'm fucking tired of this. I'm fucking tired of all this shit. You can't. Why is it? Why in the fuck is it? You cannot just 
be left the fuck alone. I've been putting up with these goddamn cops for goddamn years. I'm fucking tired of it. I can't explain certain things to white people because y'all are not going to fucking understand. Jesse, you are one of them white people I cannot explain shit to until shit happens. And this is why in the fuck I said I don't drive down there. So now that there's an understanding of why I don't drive down there. Especially being that you're in the car. I can't drive down there with you in the car. Because if we go down there and you're in the car, we're going to get pulled over. We've been getting away with going down there. They fuck with they they won't fuck with you because they don't see me in the car. That tail light has been broken and a motherfucking numerous goddamn cop done fuck with just 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 pulled up, ran the tags, and kept on rolling. They look over in the car. My seat's all the way back normally. She's normally driving. They will look to see a white bitch in the car. And they will keep on riding. But the minute they see a nigga sitting in the goddamn passenger seat, it's a whole fucking other story. It's a whole fucking other story. And that's why in the fuck I don't go to... I fucking hate it here. Why do I travel so much? This is why I travel so much. To get away from this goddamn bullshit. I'm fucking tired of this bullshit. And now, now I'm sick. And I have to be stuck here for an undetermined amount of time. Because I need a kidney and a fucking pancreas, as I was explaining to the cop back there. But that ain't good enough. I have to be a drug addict or a drug dealer or, or whatever. And, and she's got to be some, something's got to be wrong here because we're together. She's driving a car that's in my name. And mind you, it's not even my goddamn car. It's her fucking car. It's just in my name because she can't get to Indiana to get the goddamn tags for the son of a bitch. So it's a goddamn problem. It's a goddamn problem. And there's no way to do nothing about this shit. The fuck? You can't go to court on it because they won't give you a ticket. If you go down to the police precinct and complain, you become a target. You become a fucking target. They plant shit in your car. Whenever the motherfuckers search your shit illegally and they don't give you a ticket, if you are from the hood, you know this. They will search your shit you don't have to be doing nothing. And they will put some shit in your shit and then tell their buddies, look for this car, pull it over. This is where the drugs are. And before you know it, you're going to jail off some shit that you don't even know what the fuck. You ain't got nothing to do with a goddamn thing going on, but you going to jail for it. Been there, done that, and I'm fucking tired of it. <laughs> fucking tired of it. Anyway, that's about it for now. You got anything you want to say? I'm tired of this shit. That's about it. Don't be a mixed couple and try to drive through Greenbelt, Maryland.